Det är en stor ära att få presentera Nobelpristagaren i fysiologi eller medicin. It is a great honor to introduce the Nobel laureate in physiology or medicine, Professor Gary Rufkin. Your Majesties, Your Royal Highnesses, Your Excellencies, fellow laureates, ladies and gentlemen, Victor Ambrose and I gratefully celebrate the Nobel Foundation and their committees for its century of magnificent awards. Our discovery of a surprising world of tiny RNAs, only 22 nucleotides long, dramatically smaller than any RNAs known at the time, began in 1993 with the discovery of the first microRNA, LIN4, in the nematode by the Ambrose Lab, and its role in translational control of its target, LIN14 messenger RNA, by the Rovkin Lab. This world of tiny RNAs grew to include almost a billion years of animal evolution, with the discovery in the year 2000 by the Rovkin Lab of a second microRNA, LET7, that is perfectly conserved in animals, including humans. When similar 22 nucleotide siRNAs were discovered to mediate transgene silencing related to RNA interference in plants in 1999 by the Balcom Lab, a complex universe of tiny RNAs in all animals, plants, and fungi was revealed. Today, thousands of microRNAs have been identified from thousands of animals and plant species. These microRNAs mediate key transitions in animal development, in the flowering of plants, and in cancer. Much of the tiny RNA revolution emerged from genetic and genomic analysis in worms and plants in small budget labs with a dozen researchers large genome sequencing centers over the past 30 years have produced genome sequences of 30,000 diverse animal, plant, and fungal species, the best of which were named by Linnaeus. Our tiny RNA labs have explored the patterns of microRNA gene pathway retention or loss in these thousands of genomes, which has been crucial for understanding microRNAs. Poised at the intersection of genetics and comparative genomics, the tiny RNA field attracted visionary students and postdocs, drawn by the ambition, exuberance, and collaborative reflexes of the worm community, community and other genetics communities. Thousands of us now study this little worm, Cenarebditis elegans, a genetic discovery powerhouse. The tribes of our labs, of our childhood, and our education have been inspiring and seriously fun. And our home tribes are a joy. Natasha Stoller and Victoria, in my case, Candy, Matt, Andy, and Greg for Victor. Thank you very much.